buenos dias, mis amores, and welcome back to Sun Up on 7. We are shifting the tone and the gear and everything on the show and coming to something much more delightful than the heavy conversation we had before. We're talking to three beautiful young ladies that are going to represent our country so well. They're representing their district right now. We have here Miss Rochelle Bob, Belize District. Whoop, whoop. I'm from Belize District, guys, so I just have to go on. So. Um, we have Ariane Novello, who's from Belmapan. Whoop, whoop. We still did the whoop, whoop for everybody, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have the beautiful Miss Maslin Hanson from Stan Creek. Whoop, whoop. So, good morning, gorgeous ladies. And we have a guest host today, guys. We're spicing things up. I love it. Sun Up on Seven. We just like dashing all kind of crazy. We have the reigning queen of the bay, my girl here, Miss. Joel Jones. Good morning, Chica. Good morning. I get to warm this seat. Yes, you get to warm up this seat. You're doing it so well with the crown and everything, girl. Like, you look like you made for this seat. So, we're talking here pageant. We're having a lot ha happening when it comes to Wednesday and also when it comes to Saturday. So, let's get into the nitty gritty so people can know the details and know these ladies as well so they can support with their big sign and everything when they come out into the bliss, right? Right. So, what's taking place first? The Wednesday, that's a talent competition, right? Yes, this Wednesday um, at 7 o'clock at The Bliss will be the talent segment. And I know people probably are wondering, why would they take out the talent and, you know, at the night of the pageant? But we have to remember that these girls practice a lot. They put in a lot of time and um, each segment has a, a weight and a score into it, right? So when we take out the talent, it helps them to be more focused on the curtsy and the gong section. They formal section of the pageant and give them more time so it will be as engaging so don't worry you come out wednesday pay your ten dollars two dollars for kids and um under 10 and be a part of that and give them the support and see the creative side of the young ladies yes i had the sneak peek of going and seeing these ladies last night at the bliss right because i'll be seeing for that night and they're phenomenal i want to ask them specifically about the performances right so we can get people to make sure to come in wednesday um, tell me a little bit, Rochelle, when it comes to what you're performing, why did you choose that specific monologue? Because I know you're performing a monologue, but it's very, I would say it's very soulful. I'm just going to describe it as that because of just the context of, you know, using, you know, somebody. I, I did try to give no details. Peek, peek. But yeah, sneak peek, <laughs> right? But it's very soulful. Like, when I was listening to you, I felt you. So can you talk to us a little bit about that? Okay, well, first of all, I'd like to say why I chose to do a monologue because I think everybody knows by now that I'm an actress. So uh, to perform a monologue, it, it's me and it's something that I can let the community see and feel. So uh, I don't want to go in details of my uh, talent, <laughs> so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to manage it a bit. But um, yes, it does speak about my grandmother. Uh, it was not written by me, it was written by Joseph Stamp Romero. But it also touched home for me because I, I can relate back uh, because my... Grandmother, she's very old, and I, I, I still have both of them. Thank, thank God for that. And um, I can relate to the monologue. It's a piece that I can relate to. So I, it's so excited for me to be able to let others can relate it with themselves. And as well, uh, it's, it's very fun. It's very fun. It's something uh, fun to share with everyone and to let them know that what Belize was then and what it is now, it's totally different, but it's different in a better way. Well, for some, for some parts of it, and... Just show that comparison. It's it's really it's it's educated. Uh, it's just just to let people know that this happened. Then this, I'm trying to, to not give out yeah. any you know details. So I'm trying to compress <laughs> this, but it's so exciting to let them know. And I have visuals and everything to let them know back then and now. It's totally different. It's totally different, but it's the same. And <laughs> yes, it's different, but it's the same. And the comparison is just. It's amazing. So I can't wait for them to see it. I don't want to give out any details, but it's excited. And uh, I can't wait for them to join this experience with me. I love it. I love it. So guys, fun, exciting. You need yes. to make sure they're going to have pictures. So you know we love right. visual because we like to dance. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to ask Ariane to get in on this conversation. You know, Belma Pani for be able to talk up and we know what happened. Tell us a little bit about your one. I think it was very interesting. Yes. Um, Again, can't give details about it, but um, <laughs> loving how we start off already with the conversation. So tell us, why did you choose that and what can people expect when they come to see you on Wednesday and on Saturday? Okay, so I'm presenting what a monologue and a combination of drama is. And it just portrays, it just portrays my heart 
and what I see in Belize and what I think Belize should be. And so it creates something excited for me to share um, for my Belizean people to see what I have to say for them, what I have to say out loud in a deeper form of a monologue and a drama. Awesome. Right. And what are you excited about for Saturday too as well? For Saturday, I'm really excited to see all the beautiful girls perform. And of course, my favorite part, the question and answer. So that is something I'm looking forward to. That's interesting. Yes. I don't really think people fear that question. <laughs> right? Um, these girls are... They're amazing, so I'm, very, I'm sorry for those judges. I'm sorry for the judge. I don't want to be a judge ever. I love hosting because I just have to spice up the right. situation, right? And talking about spicing up situations, Maslin, let's talk about you and your amazing monologue too as well. We had all kind of things that happened, you know? Tell us a little bit about that choice and also, you know, what are you looking forward to for Wednesday night and Saturday night? Okay, thank you. Well, I won't share everything, but <laughs> I will tell everyone the name and the person who wrote my monologue. So my monologue is named Belize Rebound, and it was written by Mr. Ervil Hernandez. From Coming from Stan Creek, we had a local pageant, and after that, I had to do some self-reflecting and say, what can I bring to the national stage that is different? So I wrote up a draft about all the ideas I want, and my monologue basically is looking at the aspe all the aspects of Belize speaking about the struggles and how we are overcoming because I find it so empowering. So that's how we move from the past and go to the future and see how Belize is progressing because indeed Belize is rebounding even at 41 and we still have so much to go. Future leader here, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and when it comes to Saturday, what are you looking forward to as well? I'm looking forward to the formal wear, the march, the curtsy, Ooh. and even question and answer. The curtsy? Yes. <laughs> you have to have a positive mindset, right? You can't be afraid special. of these things. <laughs> They're very special, very Israel, because we know very the need. The hoi hoi crackle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So if you would want to tell anybody out there why they need to make sure they come out on Saturday, if they haven't purchased their tickets yet, what would you tell them to seal the deal to make sure they, like, come out Wednesday, come out Saturday. Why do they have to come out and support you ladies? Well, this year, uh, this year's pageant, uh, after what I observed from these contestants is that we're all young, resilient women. And you know, you want to empower the nation and we are literally role models. We're the ambassador of our districts. Each of us has a platform to push. So I'm there encouraging Belizeans, come out, support us, and know that we will make a difference and we are progressing for a change. We're lovely young, young delegates. And we will make, we will give you a surprise. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ariane, you want to add anything for that? Yes. I will invite all the Belizean people and not to be biased, but my Belmopan people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope to see you there. It's going to be a fun event. And I'm looking forward to see my Belmopan people there supporting. And all Belize, so just support all the delegates so we feel the love of Belize. Definitely. And last, Rochelle, your final words to steal the deal of why they need to make it out. Oh, catch yes. one bus, <laughs> rent the whole bus, the whole thing. What? I believe you guys need to come out because this is an event you definitely don't want to miss. It is something that will inform you. Uh, this opportunity is one that it's very different because it's a unique pageant. We have a talent segment. Uh, so although the talent competition is on Wednesday, while we're getting prepared in the uh, evening for the evening wear, you will be able to see the talent competition. So you won't miss it, even if you don't come on Wednesday, which I am not telling you guys not to come. <laughs> Make sure you're there on Wednesday and on Saturday because you won't regret it. Awesome. I love it so much, guys. We are short on time because we have other three amazing delegates to introduce to you. And Kevin will be taking over. I'm going to take a break and look pretty and just watch these gorgeous <laughs> ladies. So thank you so much for giving us a little piece of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really, really imploring you, come out Wednesday yes. to see the talent come show. Out, come I got out. a glimpse of it. Because they never made the full blown what it's supposed to do. And they're amazing in every single form. These dynamic women. Mazin was not lying when she was talking about how they're leaders and you need to go out and support Definitely. these women. So thank you so much. Draw your yeah, tell the people that buy and make we go into the next commercial break. Y'all do it for me. I? <laughs> sure, yes, you should, Joel. Let's do this. Look in that com okay. look in that camera. Right, yeah. Okay, so um now we'll take a break and we'll bring on the other three delegates so you can meet them and hear what they have to say. Well, thank you, stay tuned. <laughs> Oh, 
Hola, hola, muy buenos días. Welcome to Stone Apple 7. It's a pleasure being here with you and bringing you the opportunity for you to meet the delegates of Queen of the Bay. You already met the first three, so it's time for us to get to know the rest of the candidates. So I'll give them the opportunity for them to introduce themselves and where they're coming from and what is going to be your, your talent. Good morning, Belize. My name is Tiana Oliveira, and I'm probably representing the Toledo district. Um, my talent is a monologue mixed with a little drama. Okay. I'm a very dramatic person. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I believe that this is going to be something that fits me very well, and I'm okay. going to do excellent on my talent. <laughs> I have faith in you. Is there like a particular topic you're going to be talking about on your monologue? Um... Well, I'm just going to give you the name of my monologue All right. to get the idea. Uh -huh. um, it's A New Belize. Ah. Yeah, because if you notice, Belize has changed a lot over the past few years. Definitely. So that's the name of my monologue, and that's what it talks about, A New Belize. All right, so I heard dramatic, so I'm definitely thinking it's going to be intense and captivating. So yes. thank you, and it's a pleasure to meet you, Tiana. Pleasure to meet so, you, So our dear Nortenia here on set. <laughs> Good morning, Belize. My name is Kelsey Zetina, and I am representing the serene paradise of Corozal. Wow. For my talent, I will be doing a monologue, and I'll be doing an expressive dance, which is my strength. Um, it'll be a mix of Belize and about crime and violence. Also, I really hope that everyone comes out on Wednesday because I know that my ultra dance will really touch... Um, these people's hearts and yes please come out Wednesday we have a lot planned for you guys beautiful thank you Kelsey now I'm left for last yeah um, <laughs> but no pressure right my name is Alicia Martinez I hail from the west and not to be biased but it is the best <laughs> <laughs> so my monologue is a bit different it's a bit deep I'm um, touching on emancipation we this will be our second emancipation and we already had it yeah so I think that's something that we definitely want to highlight we've been a former colony. Um, we're still a young country. And I think it's important for us to take a look at where we've come from. And like my mom always says, you have to know where you come from, you have to know where you're going. Right. So I'm really happy and I'm excited to present myself on Wednesday. Definitely. I look for it. And, and the last time we had a conversation, you were saying how Afrocentrism is one of like yes. the big highlights that yes. you want to put out there, right? So since you have the mic, Alicia, can you share what is one thing that you're looking forward to, to the whole two days? The whole two days. Hmm. I, I want to say the key trip. <laughs> oh. Ah, can you, but, when um, is that happening? It's happening Thursday. Thursday. So right. all the girls were praying that we're having, we're going to have good weather because we want to relax. <laughs> but um, what I enjoyed of the past, like between the past three days is the, uh, we were speaking with the governor general. She's wonderful, truly inspirational. So I, I enjoyed the talk we had with her. Awesome. I'm glad that you had the opportunity to meet her. I'm so jealous. Yes. I haven't. So <laughs> You have to see her. I, I will. I will. She, I'll book my appointment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. So, Kelsey, is there anything that you're looking forward to in the next uh, days to come? Well, I've been singing to the girls. I've been asking them, like, I don't know right if it, um, Wednesday, I don't know right if it, um, talent. And I know they get tired of me sometimes, but I'm really excited for this Wednesday. So, yeah. That's it. Okay, thank you. How about you, Tiana? Well, that's a tough question because I look forward to the whole party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if I would have to choose, I would say the current same. That part. I look wow. forward to that part of the Really? Question. Yes. Uh, you so remember when, when I tell Renata this group is very it's a special group and dynamic. I really like that there is something special about each one of them and it's hard to really like zoom in and Pay attention to just one person because they're all so good. Definitely. And all of them have been doing their legwork, huh? Because everybody's looking forward to this curtsy. So, yes, kudos. Workout. I mean, y'all are young, so I'm sure that, you know, you're quite capable of doing a fantastic job out there. So, as we wrap up this conversation, please take the opportunity to reach out to your representatives from your, your districts and tell them why they must come and support you at the upcoming event. Okay, um, healing all my people from the deep south. <laughs> Come out, support your girl, you know. <laughs> like um, one of the other delegates said, woman empowerment. So come on and support our beautiful delegates. Beautiful. Thank you, Tiana. Kelsey, please reach out to your colleagues and tell them why they must come <laughs> to the event. 
All my people from the north, please come out and support us. We all are bringing something that you guys will surely enjoy. Trust me. Elisa? Um, definitely come out and watch the show. We have six lovely delegates. I can't wait for everyone to tune in. And I'd say to my Kyle people, come support your girl. I mean, I think I've been doing a good job. Not to be biased, so. <laughs> yeah, and we know that Kyle's bringing like a whole bus. Yes. Right. Right. And don't worry, we have enough space for everybody. Every district, bring the bus, come see these girls and support them. I'm so excited and looking forward to pageant night Wednesday. Uh, after listening to the platform statements being presented and they're so passionate about what they're doing and supporting and it's personal to each of them. So it would be good to come out and give them that extra support for all the work that they have been putting in so far. Well, I have a question for you. So... Uh, the, the pageant is upcoming, so what's next is that you're going to be crowning the next Queen of the Bay. What has been your overall takeaway from your year as Queen of the Bay? Okay, so I'm still working on my, um, my final address because I feel like this was a very important phase and time in my life, an important experience. So I want to make sure that whatever lessons I learned, that I put it together well so that they can get the message and um, learn from my experience and know that this is a vital time, you know. There's a lot of things that you can take away from being in this, this pageant and going through this phase. Yesterday, the Governor General says, it's um, cliche to say a journey, right? But to me, it's still a journey yeah. because you, got, you have highs, you have lows, you experience a range of emotions, but you're still moving forward despite whatever you're feeling. Mm -hmm. So um, I think my best takeaway was to learn to adapt to changes um, you will face challenges. It's okay to not be okay. Or like, I like to say, be a functional hot mess. <laughs> Sometimes you're a hot mess, but you're still going forward and you're working through it. Definitely. Thank <laughs> you. So thank you for those words. So wait that we encourage everybody to tune in. Uh, follow Queen of the Bay on their various social media platforms to get updated right. on the very details about the different events that are upcoming. And of course, support your delegates. And we encourage you to show up Wednesday and Saturday to the different events that are taking place. So with that, I want to say thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you here on our couch. So with that, we go on a commercial break. When we're back, we're going to be talking about an upcoming event. So stay tuned for that. We'll be right back with you. <laughs>